So Tom Ford has finally launched the Rose Garden collection fragrances that I have been anticipating. Although they haven't officially launched in bottles, but just in time for Valentine's Day, they've put together a special gift set of the three new fragrances that are soon to launch in 10 mLs with an atomizer. The kit is right here, and I've got a box right here. I actually went to Neiman Marcus yesterday to pick up a, 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 a fragrance I had ordered several weeks ago, probably even uh, over a month ago when they were having their gift card promotion and uh, I just hadn't gone back to pick it up, finally did, and they had put this out. So I sampled them, I instantly went back the next day and I decided to go ahead and buy this just so that I can do a video on this collection. So find out about the new Tom Ford Private Blend Rose Garden Collection fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian, and yes, today I'm talking about Tom Ford's Private Blend Collection Rose Garden Fragrances. Although the box does not say Rose Garden Collection, it just says Tom Ford Private Blend Roses Travel Collection with Atomizer. So, as discussed in that anticipation video, they already have a few rose fragrances, so it's only featuring the new rose fragrances in here. It's $200 for three times 10 ml of the three new fragrances, and it does come with this beautiful atomizer. I'll show it to you right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go over each of these fragrances. Before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So how many of you are anticipating this collection of fragrances from Tom Ford? How many of you are fans of Tom Ford? You know, their prices have been creeping way up, but I believe these are going to go into the less expensive private blend collection, not the ones that retail for just under a thousand dollars for the 250 ml, uh, you know, decanter uh, flacons. So that's a good thing because they've been overpriced with some of the releases that they've been launching lately. Um, but these are definitely going to go into the smaller, I mean not the smaller, but the, the cheaper collection, less expensive collection I should say, because they're not cheap. The prices for those bottles are, the 250 ml for the regular private blend, are just under $700. So these will go into 50 ml bottles I believe is what I was told initially. And um, Eventually they'll roll out into the uh, larger uh, flacons, but what happened was Eben Fumé came out last October or November, and they told me that in December they're going to launch the 250ml decanter flacon. They have not done that, but they did tell me yesterday there's a shortage of glass. That's why things are getting delayed. That's why Eben Fumé has not launched in a decanter flacon. I'm hoping it will because I like that bottle. I was hoping that Lost Cherry would as well. But Lost Cherry is done, done with already. So let's go ahead and smell these fragrances. I couldn't find perfumers for these fragrances, so I don't know who did them, but I'm curious to find out what these are all about. So here is the kit. This came uns without cellophane wrapping, so I guess they're kind of throwing it together pretty quickly, just in time for a Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. Um, so 3 times 10 ml. It is a pricey, uh, you know, a kit. Tom Ford's always very, very expensive expensive, but I wanted to get this just so that I can go ahead and do this video. And I can always, you know, give it to a family member uh, if I end up buying the larger bottle. But according to Neiman Marcus, the third of the ones in here, the Rose de Russi, should be launching anytime soon. According to them, they're not all launching together. All right, so let's go ahead and show you the atomizer first. This is what the atomizer looks like and the bottle just fits inside, it's magnetic, it's quite nice. Um, I like the black, they used to be kind of brownish uh, toned. So let's smell the first one, it's Rose the Amalfi. So if you don't know anything about these fragrances, you should definitely go catch my video uh, anticipating and then also discussing some of their other rose fragrances. So this is a 10 ml like this, uh, it's Rose de Amalfi, it's Eau de Parfum Concentration, and it says a fragrance that evokes the sunlit sensuality of the Amalfi Coast, mingling spicy bay rose with almond-like heliotrope, and an exquisite rose-on-rose -rose distillation. Sounds good, right? Let's go ahead and smell it. I do have to say, 
out of the three, I already smelled them at Nima Marcus. I still have my cards that they sprayed on, so I'm using these cards to spray on again. This is my favorite of the three. Uh, smelling over there, so I haven't smelled it since then, but let's go ahead and do that. I like the idea of this pow So Heliotrope has a kind of a powdery quality, and I've always mentioned that it does have this kind of a, a nutty, almondy kind of a experience, which I like. And here it looks like it's going into a powdery direction, and I haven't even smelled this, and I'm loving the way this smells already. It smells really, really nice. And this is not what I expected from this fragrance. I felt like this was going to go into a more fresh direction, the Amalfi Coast, the sea, and things like that. I'm quite surprised at how great this is. It smells really, really delicious. This is the one I would instantly buy because it's really, really lovely. Um, I think, though, when I was doing that video, the anticipation video, I, I think from what I'm remembering smelling yesterday, the rev it's the reverse. I thought I was going to fall head over heels for Rose de Russi, followed by Rose de Sheen, and then followed by uh, Rose de Amalfi. Amalfi. But right now I'm digging Rose de Amalfi. It smells really, really fantastic. I like this whole powdery, almondy uh, contrast against that kind of jammy rose. But it is a powdery experience. So whenever you see that note, heliotrope, you know you're going to go for like a light almondy powderiness in a lot of fragrance, especially if it's a focus note. Okay, up next we're going to talk about Rose de Chine. So I'm doing these in order. Uh, and as I said, I believe number two in this collection for me is Rose de Chine. Let's go ahead and smell it. Rose de Chine is an eau de parfum. Once again, it's a 10 ml bottle like this. If you can go get these uh, right now and you're curious about it and you have a rose lover, it's make a great gift, I think, for that rose lover, uh, especially if they like perfume and things like that. It is a little pricey, but I think kits like this are definitely priced high. I always go for the large decanter flacons because it's the best value even though you're spending a ton of money to get all that juice kind of a thing. But Rose de Chine is a fragrance meant to be savored contrasting Chinese golden peony notes with an exquisite rose on rose distillation evoking vibrant blooms, white cystus absolute and myrrh release a provocative smoky sensuality. So this was my second favorite from the smell of yesterday when I smelled them yesterday. Let's see if that's the same case. So myrrh is in here, it's a resin. Labdanum is in here, which is the, uh, the note that kind of creates this uh, amber touch. Uh, and it's a smoky experience right away with the labdanum. So this kind of seems like you've got this kind of very fragile peony note with the rose, and you've got this like resin and balsamic kind of a note in the, uh, you know, the base for uh, more of a, you know, intense kind of a dry down. So this one has uh, a very floral, I can smell the peony, like there's a lot of peony in here. Uh, that's what I'm smelling up top. But behind, in the background, there seems to be a light smokiness, which I'm assuming is going to develop into. I think they did a good job with this collection, personally. I don't know who the perfumers are, I would like to know. But these are definitely rose fragrances I haven't smelled before. Uh, I mean, I smell a lot of fragrances. Uh, and even though we're not breaking any new ground with these fragrances, I don't think I have smelled things that smell exactly like this, which is kind of a good thing. This is my second favorite. I like that whole um, fresh cut, stemmy floral kind of a smell up top. That peony uh, has that kind of fresh experience that's really, really nice. So we'll see. Uh, we'll try Rose de Russi next. And as I said, Rose de Russi was the one I thought I was going to like the most because it sounded the best. And so far, between the two, Rose de Amalfi and Rose de Sheen, Rose de Amalfi is my uh, uh, number one favorite. Let's try Rose de Russi. I think Rose de Russi in general is the more, more complex and the, the darkest of the, the collection because it has this leather note. But Rose de Russi, once again, is Eau de Parfum, a fragrance that evokes the extravagant allure of night, merging an exquisite rose on rose distillation with the vibrancy of spicy white pepper oil and woods along with supple black leather. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely uh, a dark experience and 
The, the leather in here, guess what it reminds me of? Uh, either Tuscan leather or ombre leather. It's definitely that Tom Ford kind of leather in here. There's a little bit of a green background and I'm assuming I'm getting that kind of with the pepper oil. There's something definitely spicy about it, but kind of has a more like a light green effect uh, adding to the, to the notes. It could be the rose. It can totally be the rose, but I feel like it's coming from the pepper, the pepper oil that's in here. Very woody, very dark and um, leathery. And, and the rose is there, but I feel like all the dark notes are kind of like overwhelming the rose. And once again, this is definitely my third favorite. So uh, let's smell them once again. So Rose de Amalfi, I really like it. It's, it's just very, very gentle. It's almost like a, like a Rose Gourmand once again because it's got the almondy hints from that heliotrope. And I love Rose Gourmand fragrances. So this one seems nice. It's definitely lots of powder though. You gotta love powdery fragrances. So definitely uh, warning you about that if you don't like powdery fragrances. Um, and I do like the Rose de Chine number two. It's definitely nice. It's really, really nice. I like, like I said, that stemmy kind of uh, floral, petally kind of smell in there. That smells kind of like raw flowers, raw vegetation, things like that. It's really nice. I, I like that one too. Uh, and Rose de Russi is my least favorite. Go figure. So weird. Will I still get it? Probably I'll get it. I mean, I like it, I don't hate it, but when I'm matching it or comparing it to this collection, out of the three, I think Rose de Russi. It's not a bad fragrance, though. It's definitely one that I haven't smelled like this before. Leather and Rose, I think it's a good combo. It doesn't come up too much, but it's nice here. But when I'm comparing it to the other fragrances, definitely Rose de Amalfi number one, Rose de Chine number two, Rose de Russi number three. So if you've smelled these, what are your favorites? And now that you've watched this video, which one sounds the best to you? Let me know. And also let me know if you are a fan of rose fragrances or if you're not. And have you tried other rose fragrances from Tom Ford like Noir de Noir and Rose Prick? And I think you might still be able to get your hands on Oud Fleur, I think, is uh, what the other rose fragrance was that in that Oud collection that they launched around 2014 or 2013, somewhere around there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video on Tom Ford's Rose Garden Collection fragrances. And as I said, they're not called that on this uh, kit. They're just called Rose uh, Collection on here. So I hope that's the name. If it's not, I guess it's not. But uh, let me know if you're excited for this collection. Let me know if you're a fan of Tom Ford. Do you enjoy rose fragrances? If you've sampled these, what do you think about them? Put some comments down so I can find out. Either way, I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.